All right, so here's the uh, 2012 Yamaha AR190. Just a little informational video and you get to see uh, the boat. Here's the jet drive with uh, Cobra fins attached just to help steer. Ladder. Exterior is in good shape. Uh, I did put a keel guard on the keel just to help if uh, we want to beach the boat or anything like that. Trailer, all the lights are working. Uh, two spare tires for the uh, for the trailer as well, with the Yamaha covers. Let's take a look inside. Uh, gas cap. Uh, it's a 30 gallon tank usually takes between 60 and 80 dollars a gas depending on where you are you got the swim bed here at the back so here's the inside of the boat it's an eight seater uh, kids sometimes we can add one or two extra kids on here if uh, if need be uh, this uh, compartment here opens up for the port clean out of the hull. As you can see, it's just a compartment. I usually keep the uh, straps in here. Down here, if you can see, is where the port clean out is. So if you ever suck up anything in the jet drive, you can pop this out and uh, clean it out and pop it back in. And that locks the boat just like that. So, also when this compartment is open, if the engine is on, it, there's a kill switch here for the for the engine. So you can't open this compartment up without killing the engine. But I usually shut the engine off and not let it kill it. Cup holders in the back. It's a nice uh, platform. Got some cushiony seats here if you're just cruising. All the step pads, good condition. Take a take a look see inside. Bow of the boat. You got three cushion seats, very good storage. We'll take the center one first, is which is where I keep my my anchor lines, my anchor, and uh, also my dock lines. Pretty small, but it's good. Uh, next compartment here, you can see in there. That fills all the way back. Good, good storage compartment for life jackets, a cooler, or anything you need. And also on the other seat. Good compartment that goes all the way through down into the little cubby hole which i'll show you next so that's the front of the boat here's a side door which leads under the stereo compartment and the glove box and again there's uh, additional wires for hookups um you can hook up a amplifier if you want a tower speaker or anything like that and then i'm gonna keep some life jackets in here can keep a cooler in there uh, this seat here uh, does not lift up but it, it has compartment underneath so you can always store stuff under there I usually store a case of water or something if we're out on the out on the water glove compartment has a stereo it's just a stock uh, JBL stereo I usually use a line to connect my phone if I have to um, until you get the 12 volt if you need it uh, this is just on a tension spring so it shuts if you need to cup holder driver's console here you got the bilge in the blower just to blow any ex excess uh, exhaust out of the uh, engine compartment when you start and stop the lights navigation horn and then you got a wake mode uh, button just if you're cruising and you need to speed up a little bit but don't want to use the throttle and the uh, gauges up here. So the console's, uh, it's nice, it's comf comfortable. The great thing about the Yamaha is uh, it comes with this seat uh, for the driver and you can actually push this down if you wanna just sit low and look through the windshield or if you wanna sit high, you can lift this up and you sit right on here and you sit over the windshield, which is nice. Uh, single engine, single throttle, cup holders for the uh, for the driver and also you got the uh 
the safety cord, uh, which is an engine kill switch if you need to. Um, so we got behind the driver's seat, another compartment. So we'll lift this up. This is usually where I keep my bumpers, some other stuff. I got the uh, uh, ore in there and uh, also the um, uh, secure rods for the cover. So nice big compartment. Is it cooler? Is there anything else you need to bring? On the other side is the battery compartment and storage area. This is where I have my, you can see here the battery right there. There's a battery switch that's set to off. So when I'm not using the boat, I just set that to off so I don't drain the battery. Um, you get the fire extinguisher and just a nice large compartment that you need. Now we'll take a look at the engine. So here's the engine compartment. It does have a fire port in case uh, anything happens and you don't want to open the engine, let all the oxygen in. So here is a high output Yamaha motor. Yeah, I know nothing about motors, so you can take a look and see for yourself. But the boat runs. Boat boat's been running fantastic uh, ever since I got it. I'm the only owner. Shut that. Uh, and then there was also a compartment for water skis, sporting equipment, all that stuff right here in the hall. Now I have all my stuff here, but it is a deep, uh, uh, deep compartment that uh, offers a lot of space. You can put fishing poles, wakeboards, water skis, tow ropes, all that good stuff. So the carpets are all removable. You can clean them, power wash them. Uh, it's good. So... Uh, you got the wake tower, uh, the canopy, the bimini here, uh, does is missing two zippers which have to be replaced. But it does come with a cover, and the bimini does work. It's just uh, you need some zippers to to secure it properly. Uh, the wake tower does collapse, so you can unscrew these knobs here. You can lower the wake tower, and I can actually fit this 19 foot boat right into my garage if I need to. But it's just good for storage and when not in use. Front windshield here does open and close, so you can close that if you want to just deter some of the wind. Open it, you can lock it. I usually keep it open, uh, even when I'm towing and driving the boat. So that's pretty much the AR-190. It's a good, reliable boat. Yamaha makes good boats. Uh, the other thing too that uh, if you're not a jet boat owner or just don't know about is there's also drain compartments here which are these plugs and these plugs will uh when i take the boat out of the water i unscrew them and any water that may happen to get into the hull that the bilge doesn't take care of will drain out of there so that is the ar190 2012 it's in good shape and uh you know, it's uh, always been a, a great boat for us, so thanks for listening.